It's the Tell Me Something Good podcast. Because we believe that there is still good in the world. Hi, I'm Lori Gray. And I'm Rob Joe. We talk about the good things happening at Christ United Methodist Church here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we have a little fun, too. We're so glad you're here. Rob Joe, you ready? Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Or podcast. <laughs> yes. Let's get this podcast on the road. Well, hello, Rojo. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing really great. How are you? I'm doing all right. Glad to be here. Yeah. Um, how was your weekend? It was good. It was pretty low key. Um, the rain was kind of nice. Just good for taking a nap. Yeah. How about you? It was good. I thought um, yesterday was super fun. Oh, yeah. So yesterday, for you, listener, um, we had our first Sunday with Pastor Garrett in the pulpit, and it was a big time. It was a big time. It was a lot of energy in the church yesterday. So um, we posted on social media that, that Pastor Garrett brought the word, he brought the laughs, and he brought the boundless love of God. And I think that perfectly sums up our first Sunday with him preaching with us. Yeah, it was, us. It, was, it was super fun. Um, Well-attended service. Um, yeah. You know, we've it's been it's been a great summer. We we normally see a little bit of a slump in the summer. Sure. And attendance, because you know I track all that, and it has not been down hardly at all. Yeah. Which is amazing to That's me. That's great. Yeah, it's it's awesome, and we must lots be doing of, something right. I, well, I hope that I hope that's I hope that's it. I think that's it. I don't know. We have fun. There you go. Um. So yeah, it was a it was a great it was a great Sunday, and I am I know we talked about this last week, but I'm so excited about it. The um, stuffed animal sleepover. Yeah, it's coming up. It's Saturday. It'll be Saturday. Um, what from well, they, six the to seven is when you can drop off. Yeah, they drop off their stuffed animals from six to seven, and yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to um, see pictures and. I'm gonna. I gotta bring. I gotta figure out which one of my little friends may, can come over and spend the night. Maybe Chewbacca. Well, we've already told Miss Crystal that if we find Lori Gray sleeping in room 103, just <laughs> le leave her be. She wants to be with the animals. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> do you have? Have you picked out your animal yet? Not yet, but I have a few at my house that I can uh, bring over. I'm. I'm planning on being there to take some photos of the event, so I'll just make sure to find the perfect little friend to bring to the sleepover. Should I bring Grogu or should I bring Chewbacca? You know, Grogu makes noises and stuff. Okay, well, for the sleeping pleasure of the other animals, probably one that doesn't speak. Well, Chewbacca makes noise, too, if you squeeze his hand. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, so tell me something good besides yesterday. Something else that's good in your world or uh, in the world life of the church. Well, no, something else that made me super happy yesterday, again, um, was the demystifying disability. We had our own Corey Phillips here with yes. Peace Haven, and he brought all some of his friends from Peace Haven Farm, and it was so awesome to have them here. Yeah, so I, um, if I had been thinking more clearly, I would have uh, purchased some of the items that they had in the back of the room. I just ran in to take a couple of pictures before running in to set up for worship, but um, they had this little, like, I, I don't know what it is, like, somehow, like, knitted or crocheted or some kind of a handmade like little basket that they had made with like little vegetables inside. It was really cool. So I texted him, I'm like, I need one of these. For what reason, I don't know, but I really need one of these. So I'm gonna buy one from them. And um, they also sell those dryer balls that people use nowadays. Dryer balls are awesome, I um, use them. Yeah, so I bought a set uh, probably a year or two ago and I love them. You know, it's obviously saved money on yeah. buying dryer sheets, but um, but so I was like, oh, well, I feel like I need some more. So I'm going to be buying some of those from him. And I'm super excited about supporting them and also just that they were here yesterday. You know, I do need to get some more of those. Dry mine, are, yeah. mine have had it. I need some new ones. You should ones. text him because he's coming by at some point to drop off mine. Oh, okay. I'll so. text him. Awesome. Yeah, well, here we're just having a conversation. <clears throat> Welcome to our conversation. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a great it, it was a, um, a great presentation. And I just, you know, I just love having that you know, all the people in the church. It's sure. just a, it was a great morning. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Well, <laughs> they're supposed to be having popsicles on the playground today, but it's raining because this is, we're recording this on, on Monday. Um, so they are actually going to be in the gym. Mm -hmm. But that's been a really, this is the last one too, right? The last one of the yeah, summer. It is the last one of the summer. So that is, it's sad, but the other reason they probably couldn't have it on the playground, even if it was sunny, is there are no fences up. Yes. So if you, for 
our listener, if they are located in the neighborhood, know that our playground is under construction until later in August. Yeah, that's exciting. So, um, yeah, no fence, and we're going to get new equipment, and I believe that it uh, is going to be geared toward being more accessible toward yes. all people, which is great. Yeah, um, they're taking the fire truck down. Okay. Do you know about the fire truck? No, I do not. It's been there forever, and it's this wooden thing, and it has, like, the the steering wheel and all of that on it and it is um it is i have felt like it was a hazard for a long time because you know yeah. i worked at the preschool for about five sure. years with all the children um but that is coming down i'm i'm a little bit sad and a little bit glad but yeah. um but yeah but gonna be re replacing that with some very nice equipment that once again is going to be more accessible sure for all children well, I'm excited because this Sunday we start with our summer choir. Oh, yeah. And this is a great opportunity for you to join the choir. Maybe if you haven't had the chance to do so already, or maybe you don't know if you want to commit the time to it and want to just give it a, a like, kind of get a taste, get a feel for it. Um, so if you're interested, you can join Amberly and David and the choir, or those of the or those of y'all who are available this week. At 1015 in the choir room, um, you will just kind of do a quick little rehearsal for the service music that day, and there are no robes. So you just kind of come as you are, wear a fun outfit to sit in the chancel. Yeah, you can, this is a, a nice way noise. to like just test the waters with your toe. Yeah, just, just put your, your toe, toe in, in, see if it's, see if like it's okay. It. Yeah, I like it's it. great. It's going to, yeah, I love that. Um, what else? Did we, Pastor Morris is back this Sunday. Yeah, so our sermon this Sunday is all about swimming. So his title is by one, by, excuse me, by one one hundredth, mm -hmm. um, meaning a, of a second. Right. So um, how small things can make a big difference. Right. So I'm yep. really excited to hear about this. It's going to be awesome. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, there's so many things going on. Well, our next Welcome Wednesday is August 14th. So um, that is, you know, we've done three. This will be the third one this summer before we kick off for the school year in September. Mm -hmm. But um, it is, we have a meal together, and for this one, you can bring your bikes or your big wheels, and um, they're going to just have some fun outside. And even if it's raining, we'll do all that. We'll do the riding in the Minus gym. Minus the water. Yeah. Pastor Katie told me no oh, water Oh, no water? Gym. Oh, that stinks. Understood, um, but I know. Is. Well, okay. I'll so. To, all right, well, I'll fix that in the bulletin because it says there's water fun, too. I it was a in car the wash. gym, Lori. Well, I mean, but is there still going to be water outside? Yes. Oh, okay. But not I thought it's you raining. were saying she yanked the water out of it. She no, said no, no. no water at all. If oh. it is not raining in the front parking lot, there will be like a car wash and like water fun, okay, water good. games. But if it's in inside, the gym, there is no water. Yeah, there's so no it's just water. Be riding. I know that. Well, that's not what you said. Okay. Well, I was, I'm glad we I'm had this sorry. clarifying conversation. I know, right here, just along with all of our friends listening. Um, we have a blood drive coming up on August 18th. Visit redcrossblood.org and use the sponsor code ChristUMC. That's always a great way to give back. Um, and then Stephen Minister Training is coming up, and that kicks off on September 10th. And so, and it's it's long. It's from September 10th through February 11th. They meet every Thursday night. Um, and this is if you have a heart for. Um, just listening and, and walking along others that are going through a difficult time in their life. If you've thought about doing something like that, um, this is a great way to do that. And so this training helps you um, helps you walk alongside those people. So that, that is starting on September 10th. And if you're interested in, in going through this training, um, you can visit our website at um, ChristGreensboro.org um, and you can Google Stephen Minister, um, and it it'll it'll come up. Um, or you can just send us an email to info at christgreensboro.org, and we will forward your information along to the to, to the people that are doing this training. And we offer this every year. I'm a Stephen Minister. Um, Hello, and, Stephen. <laughs> okay, um, and it's it's been a great experience. I've I've been one for a year and a half now, and mm -hmm. you you only have one one person that you're walking alongside at a time. And it's, um, I think it's a great program. It's very near and dear to my heart. Yeah. Um, so again, yeah, just, I think the best thing would be just to email, you can email us at info at Christ Greensboro and um, 
dot org, and we will forward your information along. Great. Well, I think that's kind of what what we have for you guys this week. But as we wrap up, let's share a personal tell me something good. A personal tell me something yeah. good. I'll jump off the board first, giving you time to think, because I was thinking about mine. So I, all 29 years of me, have decided that I want to become a needle pointer. Don't laugh this at is, me. No, I'm not. You, I, I was just, just not. I didn't know where you were going with this, but we talked about this yesterday. I so, love it. So a, a dear friend of mine, she um, she's an avid needle pointer. So I see her stuff on Facebook, and like I see all these beautiful things that she produces, and like gifts that she makes for people. I told my parents yesterday, I'm like, I'm not sure this is gonna be a gift giving hobby. This is kind of expensive and time consuming, <laughs> but maybe when I get more efficient, it'll become a gift giving hobby. Oh, yeah. um, but right now I am eyeballs to a, like a tiny little 18 mesh canvas, which is very small for my eyes. And I've been in glasses since I was in kindergarten. So my eyes are not wonderful, but you know, they are what God gave me. So. So I am currently stitching this little like mountain, like Blue Ridge Mountain scene. Oh, and it has nice. a, an evergreen tree with a cardinal on it. And oh, you know how I love granddad. a good cardinal. So, yes. um, but yeah, that's my, tell me something good for this week personally is that I am, I'm just expanding my repertoire of fun things I can tell people about myself. <laughs> so I have, do you know the difference? I don't know the difference between needlepoint and cross stitching. Okay. So I, years ago, months ago, whatever, thought they were the same thing, but they're, yeah, they're not. They're not the same thing, but I don't know the difference. So I think now someone is going to correct me and I'm totally we're gonna fine We're going to get an email that. about this. It, I feel it's it. It's totally fine. I'm ignorant to this, but I think that cross stitching, you're making a bunch of X's. That's like, right. Like to create an actual I design. I used to cross stitch. Yes. Okay. But needlepoint is more of like a formation and you're interlocking all of your weaves so that when you, you know, send it off to a finisher, that it doesn't come unraveled basically. But but the needlepoint is less about the cross necessarily because there's multiple different stitches you can do to, right, to right, accomplish right. Oh, what okay. you're doing. I got it, at. I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. again, I'm a newbie. I've only been doing it for four days. Um, but I did sit there in my pajamas watching reruns of Reba, a great TV show in case you're wanting to find one, on the Netflix and just sit there, me and my dog. Pointing. I'm, I'm calling it pointing now. What are you doing? Pointing. Okay. Well, Needle at least now pointing. I know what you're talking about. If I call you, like, what are you doing? You'll be like pointing. I'm be like, oh, okay. Apparently, there's like a like a shorthand for needle point, but I just can't remember the letters. So we're just gonna call it pointing. What you doing? So if I wanted like if I had a hole in my jeans and I wanted some flowers, I wanted you to sew it up and put flowers on it. Could you do that at some point? I think that's more of a like embroidery. Embroidery. Yeah. Yeah. This is more like I'm so you, confused. You take a can a, a mesh canvas, uh -huh. and then so oh yeah yeah most yeah. of these, which is really cool, and it also helps helps explain why they're so expensive because, like the canvas that I bought was just right at fifty dollars, but the reason is is because it's hand excuse me it's hand painted, it's not like machine oh. cranked out, so you're you're stitching over intersections of where the color I is. got it yeah. I got it now, well. Again, for our listeners, I probably have totally fumbled this all up, but um, if you would like to give me any kind of stitching tips, I would love to have them. Um, if you would like to stitch with me, we can sit and just mindlessly talk as we stitch. Well, you know what? I love this. I love because we, you know, when you start something new, you know, some people won't start anything new because they don't know how to do it. Me, and they're afraid. Normally. Right. But this is such a, a, I mean, like we're learning. Yeah. You know, or you are. I'm not learning. I'm not going <laughs> to. You could I'm not, be learning. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> so um, my tell me something good is a week from Thursday, mm -hmm. I am going to Puerto Rico. Yes, yes. Very exciting. I am going with the Western North Carolina Conference, and Ooh. we are doing a little um kind of fact-finding mission mm -hmm. on on the possibility of us being able to take a group of youth and their families to Puerto Rico to do mission work. Yeah. So How awesome. Yeah. And um, so I'll be there for, you know, I'll be there. I'll leave Thursday, come back the following Monday. And I've never been to Puerto Rico before. Yeah. And we're going to go possibly serve in a soup kitchen down there. Okay. We're going to um, like see the places where we would stay if we were to go do mission work there, meet some of the, the because um, we're going to partner with uh, one of the Methodist churches down there. Yeah. Well. yeah, so I'm really excited about it. It's a brand new experience for me. 
Um, I mean, of course, I've been on the South Carolina mission trip, but this kind of mission trip is very different. Yeah. And um, so I'm excited to meet. I'm, I'm going to be staying with all people I don't know. Like yeah. there's 10, 15 of us. I don't know. I don't. I know one other person. Nice. Um, and a brand new place. And um, so it'll be, I'm excited. A little nervous, but I'm excited about it. Yes. New, experience. well, new awesome. experiences. Mm -hmm. Look, you're having new experiences. I'm having new Mine's from the comfort of my living room and yours is out into the world. Out into I the world. It. All by myself, me. <laughs> <laughs> and the anyway, so that's my, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's, a, it's something good. Going out and helping, helping all the people. So. 100%. Yeah. It's what we do. Well, guys, we just appreciate you tuning in this week and hearing about the good things that are going on here at Christ Church and, and beyond. Know that we love you and we want to see you soon. So yes. come see us. All yeah. right. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay. See you later. Bye.